Oh hi, um, hey there one, this is Rao Cow. Oh this, oh it's just some video game, you probably never heard of it. It's called Drama Mystery. <laughs> you know, if I hadn't been a terrible nerd, I probably would have been a terrible hipster, honestly. I don't know if I dodged a bullet or not. Bendera Summit, which I've heard is like Flag Mountain. So hey, we're going to Six Flag. It's so cold here, you're shivering. Now let's see how cold is here. It's so cold here! Now you see how cold is here. That's great writing. Hey, you're not cold and you're wearing a wife beater. That's pretty good, Turtle Man. Why am I playing as Coot since they're obviously evolved? The handle the cold to- Whoa, jeez! Someone turned on the gray. Now it's gone. <laughs> and now it's back! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Go on this ply for so long. Fighting a refuge into the dark. Oh man. Tal said bye. Chill penguin. Well, why I say bye? I don't know. Oh no, it's an eyeball. Ah, it's a light. It looks like it's gonna go to a normal block. Good. That's the an eyeball. That's a football. They're different. You don't play the same sport with this, so you can jump on a gooey eye, even though it grosses me out. Obviously, I went over my abject terror from last time. That's good. That means I am growing as a character. It's snowing outside. Good thing I'm not editing with version 1 million of Mario's level designer contest featuring a bucket of salt. I'm not sure where I was going with that. It's pretty great. Ice, pretty swell. I suppose it makes sense considering we're going up a mountain and whatnot. I can't duck, but I didn't need to. And that's an exit that someone hooked upside down off the top of the- Whoa, that's inordinarily fancy. <laughs> Suddenly it is dawn. Now, I, I played this level because I said I played this level last time, but uh, last time in the comments I had a few requests to check out with up at the diamond place where the path is made of arrows, Rao Cow. I'm paraphrasing, but you kind of understand where I'm going from that here. Well, let's check it out. It's Sorrow Subworld. Oh, it's actually a star. Oh, geez, this is... This is pretty scary. Wait, does it go in a loop? Looks like it loops. So let's do Saros. Well, part. Of, let's let's start Red Town Skull Place Land with a Frost Fire Fridge. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, I'm playing a scoot. I'm playing a scoot. It's, oh, see, it's a bridge of ice and the land of fire. Oh jeez, a hammer gun. Oh, the ice ball hurts me. Usually, and then suddenly I freeze up when I die. <laughs> yes, sure, if it makes you happy. It's the land of fire and nice. Oh man, we're gonna make a book series out of it, then make it a TV series out of it. It's pretty great. So here I'm just kind of moving forward and I'm trying not to live. Which is kind of similar to trying not to die. Except sometimes it may and, you know, change some of the choices you make in your life if you're just content with surviving or actually living. You know, they have different kind of things. That's right, Ku doesn't double jump, so I can just hold a jump button. My heart's content as I go and run into thwomps for the hell of it. Jeez, you guys are just kind of teaming up here. It's really kind of annoying, guys. Come on here. Show some anti-cooperation. Well, that was badly planned. <laughs> oh man, I just did this, and then I did this. It's pretty great. I'm like a multi-billionaire scientist or something. Ah, uh, oh jeez, don't really... This is the worst thing. Well, I'm probably gonna die at some point. Just be different. Maybe I'll get some health. Wait, I already did go as far as before as here before. And I wasn't like in such tatters. <laughs> okay, you know what? That ice guy, he is the worst. Oh my god. I found it. I found the worst in a place I never would have thought of looking. 
I'm kind of afraid, and for once the Christmas season song is, you know, in the spirit of the Christmas season song. Well, <laughs> I said really while I dodge, but not really. Well, I can completely pro style with a very minimal amount of, like, pictures and whatnot. <laughs> but I, I read them because I was a terrible child nerd. It's truly the worst commitment you could have to childhood being. What am I even saying? I don't know. Pokey, get over here. There's an active volcano and you're a plant. You should be like carbon right now. What are you doing? Are the, the lotus plants also affected by the strange green-eyed gnosis that we are seeing, you know, kind of here and there? Oh shoot, that could have gone bad, except it didn't. Hooray! Football guy, man! You're not playing football at all. Stop being so confused about sp Really? Kinda of surprised that that happened. Ugh. Kinda of seeing a pattern. Dang it. What a this being. And that should be, you know, applauded and not admonished. I can't kill them with that, you know, Kinda wanna keep those alive, though, cause I kinda... I guess I can kill that one, I only need one. Uh... Yeah, oh, well, that... That didn't work out as... Okay, so I do have the leverage to jump over them, it just really honestly doesn't look like it. Whoops, I tried to stomp there, and instead I'm doing, like, a parody of Mardi Gras. They called it... Marty Gross! Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. There's no excuses there. Jeez, that was kinda flummoxing. And hey, there's the exit with like a million turtles for no reason. Hey there, turtles! There are a million of you for no reason. Should y'all really be dancing near like our Megadon Jr. going on behind our backs? I mean, let's be honest here. There's a scary skull. Oh no, it's King Caveira! Vera. It's King Calamari! <laughs> oh no, it's a big skull face! <laughs> oh man, it's the King of Calamaris. So, the background's kind of scary looking. That's a bomb. That guy there is pretty scary looking. That's a guy shell. It's pretty great. So, that was a pretty terrible playing there, like, honestly. And I'm just not going better right now. <laughs> when I die on this death, it will be entirely due to my fault. And I don't want anyone to let me claim otherwise as I go in this great pipe. I end up in the green cave. It's full of limestone and dental hygienic products. Where do you think it all stems from, Timmy? From the bowels of New Year's Eve. Uh, that's what... Really, that's what happened! That's kind of amazing. Possible to leave a guy that is, you know, folding clothes for a living alone. Because it's like, oh man, you're doing a maniacal task. That's incredible. Oh man, I killed a thwomp. I'm like a thwomp murderer or something. How will I live with myself, skeleton? I mean, you've been murdered. How do you live with being murdered? I'm so confused about my terminology. I'm gonna try and s fart away a thwomp. It didn't work, but the cloud didn't touch it. So I don't know if it didn't work because it didn't work or if it's because I misaimed. I don't know about these things, turtle, that are just every freaking aware in this level. It's just like, hello, I'm just gonna spam a million turtles all up in the place, and that guy's gonna jump, going like, oh man, I'm pretty great, I just jump, it's pretty great. I'm kind of, he's kind of, you know, he is kind of, but, you know, we don't speak about it because it's a medical condition. It's not nice to make fun. Hooray, I don't know where I'm landing. Hi, that was dangerous. How's it going? Good thing? Whoa, no, it's Skeletal Charlie! I recognize you from games. That's <laughs> pretty great. There's a big door here leading into the Big Tomorrow, also known as Yesterday. It opened up! It's... Skeleton Guy! Oh man, I'm 
fighting Donna again, except super easy. <laughs> oh no! Now he's ahead! What? <laughs> okay, I'm just supposed to keep on jumping on you. You look like the sort of Corolla boss where you know you gotta wait to get a thing you can throw! I have no idea how you're supposed to dodge you though. Oh no, now you're big! Oh jeez. See? Now you're throwing skulls from multiple orifices and it's kinda weird. From Throwing stuff from your eyes is fairly common, but from your nose... <laughs> it's kinda weird. So I guess I wanna try and not get hurt during the humanoid phase, because I have no idea how to dodge him during his I'm a big fat head fat head fat guy phase. And, like, seriously, how do you, like, dodge any of this? What? I don't honestly know. You don't fully dodge him if you do that. So where does... Okay. There's a weak point! <laughs> That's weird. Okay, so I touched the skull, I guess. Just one. I'm dumb, also. That doesn't help. But it went pachu. Oh man, I actually flawless victory phase two. Okay, so it's literally possible. Who would have thought? <laughs> mm. So yeah, I just hit an eye. I'm assuming that counts as a midpoint because it's, it's not really an eye. It's more like a green diamond someone put in the orifice eyeball, the orbit of a skull with a really weird chin. I. Uh, I've seen a few skulls in my life, although I admit they were plastic replicas and molds and whatnot. But I'm assuming I'm doing a thing, it's just weird, because it's like this random boss doesn't have a hit like counter. I don't know, throwing up there. <laughs> Whatever happens, what happens as I dodge skull thrones by a skull is a very warm smile. And by warm, I mean he is literally trying to cook you alive to eat you. Yay! I broke his nose! Oh no, the true darkness is closer! That's pretty scary. Oh no, a flag! That's pretty scary. I'm kind of digging this bonus world place. <laughs> I think I'm gonna continue this pathway and for once end the game by ending the game. Let's do the post game a bit early. This is Val Cow playing the intestinal tracks here of Drama Mystery. And join me next time when we play a video game also known as Drama Mystery. It's pretty weird how that works out. <laughs>